Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we are going to explore an idea and sometimes before you start programming what you want to do is get in there and see if it's even possible. So in this case uh, we're looking at uh, a scan of an old document and you can see that it's hard to see it's low resolution and uh, there's all sorts of uh, artifacts on the sides that might make it really hard to see. So in this case, you know, you and I might be able to read it. The opening of the government school will not take place till the proper teachers are procured. And to do this will be a work of at least three, three to four months. Um, bit of a struggle looking at this word, for example, and some of it is not clean. We're just using the context, but what I wanted to do is to first OCR this, which means um, running it through optical character recognition. That is um, when you take text that is in image form and ask um, the computer to try and recognize the words out of this. Now, normally, if you have a nice, clean document, um, say this one, for example, uh, or there's probably even better ones. So I think I have this on the side here. Let me just put this here. This is a very clean document and today's technology should allow it to look pretty good um, for it to, to probably OCR very accurately. But something like this, even a human might have uh, mistakes here and there just because it's, it's so horrible. So first step is I wanted to see if I can OCR this um, and see the quality of it. So I'm going to find that first file. And we're going to convert. And that's this one right here. And it might take a second. And I'm just thinking, you know, we could do this through API, through Google or Azure or AWS. They all have their OCR services. But in this case, you can see that um, that there are spelling mistakes, of course. So like comprehension, we should be able to fix that. Um, nummy, unease, uh, clearly there's some sort of spelling mistakes. Um, I think in my experience looking at these, quite often it mixes like one and L and I. Some of these uh, might look like other characters. Um, this really darkened R, for example, might be mistaken for uh, an I or just like a thick bar. But um, this one actually did quite well. I didn't expect it to see all of this, but if we take, ah, here's a good example, and I should zoom in so everyone can actually read it. Uh, TNE, um, I think you can see it's the opening. Um, and H, it probably, there was a gap where the, the top part of the H is, um, it creates some difficulty. But we can still read it. The opening of the government school will not take place till the proper teachers are procured, and to do this will be a, a work of at least three to four months. Okay, so this is where uh, I wanted to see if it was feasible. I want to take this text and ask AI ChatGPT to say, uh, I have a uh, uh, the text from a uh, I have a historical text that was run through optical character recognition. The text is imperfect because it is computer generated. Can you fix all the obvious spelling uh, mistakes that are up that appear because of the OCR process? You should keep the text as close to the original as possible and explain any changes that are not obvious or cannot be fixed with a simple change. 
change at the end of your response. So let's try that. I'll, I'll pass it off. Interesting. Uh, they already have some OCR text. <laughs> okay, let's give it this one. Uh, sure. Oh, I guess it won't even let me take this whole bit. Okay, um, so let me put this and then we'll uh, shift enter for new line. Um, and we'll break apart pieces here. The opening of the government school will not take place till uh, the proper teachers are procured and to do this will be the work of at least three to four months. That is perfect. The hall is being built with dimensions of 75. Um, ah, okay. So they have explanations. Billion is changed to billiard to correct the obvious OCR uh, error. It appears to be a reference to the roof and flooring material. So let's look at the original here. Um, billion, oh, it does look to be billion to me. So it's interesting that they explained this and was still wrong. Uh, the opinion generally expressed in books written about them is that there is little to be, um, the sentence seems to be cut off, can't be reconstructed. That is fair enough. Um, let's try just another section here. Here is another section of text. Shift enter. Ah, okay. Um, It is decided that the Chinese schoolmaster is to be of the Mandarin class, which will be above all sects of in this country. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, wow. Um, it took this very odd string of numbers and equal signs to schoolmaster. And I want to see where this is. Um, it is decided that the Chinese something. And let's go back. It is decided that the Chinese schoolmaster, amazing, all right. So it was able to pick that up. High is in, prevent, prevent, against, education, considerable. Uh, these ones seem to be fairly obvious. Ah, the nummy and unnies. I wanted to look at that as well. Uh, so where was that? As governing race, they have found wanting and probably would lie so even proper education, hot in nami anis, they are equal to Chinese. Okay. Um, ah, even with proper education, but in many ways they are equal to the Chinese. Let's see if they got that. Um, but in many ways they're equal to the Chinese. Awesome, okay. So um, playing around with this uh, makes me think that there is possibly a real service here uh, combining the two. N number one, to go through an OCR process. So you put an imperfect piece of text um, like this one, and then to then be able to reconstruct it with AI. And of course we can 
um, adjust the prompt, but it seems the one that I gave right off the bat is not not bad already. Giving it context that it's OCR, asking it to actually explain the changes um, is not a bad way to go. So um, we didn't do any programming today, but now we know that it is possible that we um, connect OCR, which even the best of it is still imperfect, and combine it with AI to make kind of those logical leaps that we are doing when we look at text like this one. So um, the characters are probably imperfect, but we know enough English to join the two together to, to make those logical leaps to make the assumption of what is correct. and. I think that's pretty cool and that might be a project we should do in another episode. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you all next week.